Hey folks, good morning. Good to see you on this uh, Tuesday morning. Um, I was working on my phone, getting the video shared, all that good stuff. All right, hope you're off to a good start today. October the 19th. Can you believe that? Tuesday, October the 19th. We're already uh, a long way through this uh, through this uh, month. And pretty soon here, we're going to be in the month of November. Is yours not there? No. I can see mine. And all I can see is your live stream coming soon. Is anybody talking? Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing. Hi, Judy. Judy's on. I saw Trevor hop on. Um, it could be. Our internet's not fantastic, right? So, dropped a bunch of frames already. Look at that. Okay, well, we're going to get started here and uh, get rocking and rolling. Um, I'll bring you a couple of jokes today, courtesy of a few members at church. So, um, so you may hear in the background, I made some cinnamon rolls this morning, you know, um, homemade out of a can. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> um, and I guess Owen is over here digging the cinnamon rolls. He's on which, how many have you had, buddy? Is this two? Five. You've had five? Wow. He's at two. So, all right. Uh, well, a couple of jokes courtesy of some folks from church. First one will be uh, from, from Betty. Know what kind of man Boaz was before he got married? He was ruthless. <laughs> that one was funny. I like that one. And then here's another one. You ready? Um, hold on, hold on. Okay, courtesy of, of Judy, do they allow loud laughing in Hawaii or just aloha? Oh. <laughs> that was a good one too. I like that. Those are, those are good. Uh-huh. All righty. Well, we're going to jump in. Before we do that, just a couple quick announcements. Uh, you may have noticed on Facebook there is, we did create uh, the event on Facebook for the Trunk or Treat, uh, please, if you would, if, and if you know how, share it. Uh, share that uh, event uh, with others. Just put it on your own page so other people can see it that you're friends with that we're not. Uh, that's the best way to get the word out. Mom, We've tried the whole paying for ads thing, and you just build your cut, buddy. Um, um, we just uh, we've, we've tried paying for the ads and. It, it's okay. Um, maybe we need to learn some new tricks or whatever, but we found the best way is for you uh, to share the posts and to share the events and things like that. And that brings it out to a, to a bigger audience. So, um, so yeah, if you could, share the Trunk or Treat uh, event. And we're looking forward to a great day. If you haven't signed up yet, make sure you do that. I think there's only two spots left. It's filling up quick. Only two spots. Um, if you're not able to come, completely understand, would you please consider bringing some candy? Uh, dropping that off. Or, if you'd like to, you can donate and, and we'll go buy the candy. All right? Uh, but know that uh, we're grateful uh, for all that you do and, and looking forward to a great event. It's going to be a big event. It's going to be a huge event, I think. Uh, people are ready to... We had, we had a decent turnout last year, even in the middle of COVID. Um, but I think this year is going to be even bigger. So let's come on out, get involved, and we'll look forward to a great time. Okay, devotional time. Devotional time. We're going to talk about what is your daily bread. Uh, on Sunday mornings and, and when we're on here for devotional times or at, in the evening, when I'm not too busy. Unfortunately, I've been busy a lot, right? Um but one of the things we do is we say the Lord's Prayer together. And one of the lines in the Lord's Prayer is, give us today, give us this day, our daily bread, right? Uh, Jesus teaches us that in, uh, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. But he's talking more, he's talking about more than just bread. In fact, the Bible said that the Bible tells us, and we can see that bread represents four four things. It does. 
bread represents the necessities of life. So when you pray, give us this day our daily bread, we don't just sit back on the couch and wait for God to throw at us what we need. We have to work. We have to work. God says, I'll supply it, but you need to gather it. You need to gather it. That's God's economy. Even the Israelites had to go out and pick up the manna that he supplied for them. See, work is just a part of, of, of God's purpose for our lives. It builds character. Proverbs 14, 23. I'm going to be throwing a lot of scriptures at you today. Proverbs 14, excuse you, 23 says, hard work always pays off. Woo. That's a lot of sneezing. Hard work always pays off. Mere talk puts no bread on the table. Ooh, that's no good, right? So bread represents the necessities of life. The second thing is bread represents God's word. And that's going to be our scripture for the day. I'm going to put the scripture up here on so you can see. It says, people do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. So bread represents God's word. The Bible is our spiritual food. We have to have it. It's our spiritual food. When the children of Israel uh, were walking to the promised land, God dropped manna from heaven because they had nothing to eat. God gave them bread to show them they needed more than physical food to, leave, to, to live. They needed to depend on him. That's where it came from. Real life comes from feeding on every word from God. We don't just need physical nourishment. We need spiritual nourishment as well. The next thing we see bread representing is it represents the necessities of life, God's word. Bread also represents God's family and fellowship. Another scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16, is the bread which we break not sharing in the body of Christ. See, bread's a metaphor for the family of God. You need God's people in your life. Whether or not you have a physical family, God wants you to be part of his family that will last forever. That's good news. God wants you to be a part of his church. God made it to be a place of fellowship. It's important. Bread represents the necessities of life. Bread represents God's word. Bread represents God's family and fellowship. And finally, the last thing, bread represents salvation. See, in the act of communion, when we partake in communion together, which we are in just a few weeks, in the act of communion, Jesus chose bread to represent the sacrifice of his body. Every time you eat the bread and drink the wine or the juice, it's a reminder of how much God loves you and the sacrifice that Jesus made so that we can go to heaven. So whatever you need today, whether it's physical, emotional, relational, spiritual, guess what? God's there to meet that need for you. All we have to do is simply pray and understand when we pray those words, give us this day our daily bread, and then we trust God, right? We still got to do the work. We still got to get involved. We still got to dig into his word. We still have to get busy, right? But we trust as we are doing that work that God will supply our needs. Dig in, do the work, and trust in him. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Hope you're off to a good start today. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, we'll be in the office for a little bit. Uh, got some stuff going on. Uh, and then Wednesday, tomorrow, remember, we have popcorn and snow cone uh, at, at uh, normal time, 2.30, 3.30. Um, and then uh, our, our uh, Bible uh, Bible study, we're going to be meeting in the in the sanctuary this week as the Osceola Cowboys will meet in the fellowship hall. So come on in, get involved, and we'll have that set up. We will be on Zoom this Wednesday for Bible study. Um, and the teens are meeting, the children are meeting, um, and lots of good stuff going on. All right, so come out, find a way to get involved, and we'll look forward to see you. Guys, have a blessed day. Remember... As he is being a blessing to you, make sure that you always find an opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.